Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salat, assalamu rasulullah, assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi, wa barakatuh. Welcome to our ninth day of the 19 days of COVID-19 live video series. And today I'm coming to you live and not behind slides. Today we're talking about the artist's brush. So um, how to have creative thinking and problem solving in troubling times. And I thought I would just come and talk to you directly today and uh, talk about this topic, inshallah. Creative thinking, the artist's brush, why did I call it this? Well, have you ever found yourself, especially during these times at the moment, where everybody is in lockdown, the world is pretty crazy, but you feel like you're pretty stuck in your thinking and you're finding that um, it's hard to find solutions, that it's um, really difficult to, to get on with life because everything keeps changing, you know, from week to week, day to day, we're having different rules and regulations and strict fines if we break the rules and our way of living our daily you know routine is just not the same anymore so I found I found that the answer is what I've been teaching you that feelings come from thought in the moment and over the years of working with Muslim women globally and the work you know working with my peers uh, across the globe who um, are also in the fields of psychology and psychiatry as well, that this understanding is what frees our mind to have that really good creative thinking and, and problem solving ability. So I called it the artist's brush because through our thought in the moment, we are creating our existence, our, our way in which we are experiencing what's happening in our life. So I, I wanted to make it a positive message that if it's the artist's brush and, and if you're the artist and you're the one holding the brush, that in fact, you know, you have the ability to paint the picture of your life that you want. So at the moment, um, the challenges we're experiencing. I, I had it again yesterday where my kids just went off the planet. Everybody's getting a little bit stir crazy being at home all the time. We're quite disconnected from everybody because we haven't been hanging out with our friends um, or our extended family. And so everyone was a bit nutty yesterday and sometimes it ended up in fights. Sometimes it just ended up in silliness and no one wanting to go to bed when I really wanted them to. So, um, you know, we're faced with problems that are popping up. Um, sometimes there's logistics around, well, how are we going to do the things that we've done before with these new situations? So for me, the, the example is working from home with all the kids home. It sometimes seems virtually impossible. And... Um, then with Ramadan just around the corner, you know, thinking about, well, what are we going to do this Ramadan? How is it going to feel like Ramadan when we aren't going to be able to go and pray Tarawih or have iftars or all the usual things that we're familiar with? In, in, and so the, the opportunity is ours. The artist brush is in our hand and we can really create the experience that we want to create out of all of this and it comes through our thought in the moment everything I've been teaching you to date is feelings come from thought in the moment so where does our creativity and our problem solving come from the reality is it's actually innate in us that is already there available in us. It's not something you have to build or a muscle you have to work or something you have to find or um, practice or whatever the different languages might be. It's something that's already there inside of you. Your creativity and problem solving ability was in you from the day you were born. And 
obviously has grown as as you have learned more so why what's going on when we find ourselves not feeling creative or finding it hard to find the answers to our problems or the ways forward it's actually very very simple we've got a whole bunch of thinking going on in fact we tend to be stuck in our intellectual thinking when this is happening. In other words, we're trying to solve it up here when the answer is in here. When we're trying to solve it in our head, our head is buzzing with lots of thoughts, lots of thinking. And it's that thinking that is buzzing around, that intellectual thinking that I've got to figure it out, I should figure it out, I should know better, all that stuff that's going on. It's actually getting in the way of the creative thoughts and the problem solving coming forward. Because in fact, you know, when we are quiet in our mind, present in the moment, we have access to this wisdom that comes through our connection with Allah. It's not available to us when we're stuck in our heady thinking. So that heady thinking is not going to come up with the solutions. What's going to come up with the solutions is number one, make dua to Allah because everything comes from Allah, right? So we always start there. And then after that, put our trust in Allah that when the right moment comes that we need to know the answer or how to solve the problem or need to think creatively to, to get through something or to really have the best experience, that that thinking will come in the moment when it's needed. So the trusting that that thinking will come when it's needed and rather than trying to force it or find it or make it happen. It doesn't work that way. In fact, when we're doing that, we're actually getting ourselves further away from, from that creative problem solving um, ability. So it's innate in you. It's innate in all of us. And it comes when we're present in the moment, when our mind is calm and when we're able to have that beautiful thinking that comes from connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you know how they say, if you say I can't, or you say I can, you're always going to be right. It's a bit like that. If you're stuck in, I can't do this, or I can't do that, or um, there's no solutions, you know, all of these negative thoughts about what's going on, thoughts about how Ramadan will be, thoughts about what you're going to do about your family, then in fact, that is what you're going to experience. But if you open your mind to, I can, I can find the answers, that thinking is inside of me, the problem solving is inside of me. I have that ability, thanks to Allah, with immense gratitude to Allah then just be patient and it will emerge naturally for you inshallah and beautiful results will happen something so far better than anything you would have been able to think up or, or concocted yourself through intellect intellectual thinking subhanallah so the artist brush you're the artist the brush is in your hand what paint painting are you going to pick what painting are you going to paint? What picture are you going to paint of your life? How are you going to see things moving forward through these troubling times? Are you going to get caught up in the I can'ts? Or are you going to open your mind to the I can'ts? It's up to you. You're the artist. You're the one holding the brush. And you can choose whatever colours you want to paint your picture with. SubhanAllah. How beautiful is that? So don't forget, if you found this useful, beneficial, insightful, inspiring in any way, please share the khair. Share this video with your friends, with your family. Share it across social media. 19dayscov19.com